So one times 10,000, good so far? Okay, now I'm gonna go up here because I can't see anymore on this little window here. So I'll just check it up here, okay? Then I got one out of 38792 right here times 500. It's a lot of math. Oh, you're still typing? Oh shit, I'm sorry. Here, keep typing. Keep typing. We'll put mine out in a second. Put it back up? No. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Have patience. Sorry. I asked if you wanted me to show and you said yes, so I did. Well, somebody did. I hear what I hear, Toby. I hear what I hear, Toby. Damn. I'll put it, I'll put it up right there in case you want to see that. explain a little more the last part? The 23 out of 24? Yeah, yeah why you um, do the times. Negative two? Yeah. Because yeah. if you lost, this is a fantastic question, as everybody knows. The question is, why is the negative two times a 23 out of 24? If you lose the game, you don't win nothing. You win negative two dollars because you had to buy the ticket. Yeah. Does that make sense? That's why that's there. <laughs> Technically speaking, if I may, if I may, Technically speaking, these prizes should all be two bucks less than they actually are because you had to buy the ticket to win $118 million. So technically mm. speaking, this should be $117,999,998. I thought that would get too nitty gritty and it won't, make, it won't affect the answer that much at all either. But you have to account for buying the ticket and losing 96% of the time in yeah. order for it to to Alexis. pencil out. Alexis, what's your, what's your question? Can you number real quick just so I can yes. See the oh, the actual number that I got. Yes. Yeah. Hang on. That's what I got. Cool? There we go. You did it on your phone? I give you mad props. I don't know how you all do this on your phone. I have this calculator that allows Is it, you to do... You can see like the whole thing at once? That's yeah, awesome. You could do like fractions and stuff. That's fantastic. I can't do that. I, I, I have to do it in Google these days. Because, well, first of all, my old man eyes don't see a screen very well anymore. But also, I just need to be able to see the entire thing while I'm doing it. But if you can, that's that actually takes you. But see, look at how cool. I broke okay. it. Did you like... I love it. That's I gorgeous. Wonder, that's yeah. gorgeous. Well, we did that too on the board. It's just I can't put the board into my phone yeah. or into the computer. That's gorgeous. Yes, that's what I got. Yes. So what Toby has just correctly said is, on average, per Powerball ticket or per Mega Millions ticket, you are winning negative one dollar and twenty-eight cents per two dollars. So in other words, on average, you're losing a dollar thirty per game. That's what that means, right? Go ahead, Simon. Are we multiplying by? Because I multiplied. By negative two, is that what we did? We multiplied just the chance of of losing by negative two, and that became part of the calculation. Is that fair? So remember, each of these is a prize times a probability. A prize times a probability. Don't forget all these plus signs, which I clearly forgot one right here, didn't I? Sorry about that. Right here should be a plus sign. Yes. So I guess my question is this, before we regroup, why would anybody play this game if on average you're losing $1.28? Because if they play it once, there's, I mean, there is a chance. Yes. If you play, you at least have a chance of winning. There's a higher chance of winning something than losing something. There's a higher <laughs> chance of winning something. Can I rephrase that? Because... Because yeah. it's not the way you said it isn't true, but I think we can make it true. Yeah, I guess that there's a higher that. chance of you winning something if you buy a ticket than you winning something if you don't buy a ticket. Exactly. That is a correct statement, yeah. Alexis. Yeah. But here's how I can counter that, and you can push back, of course. There's a better chance of me keeping my two bucks if I leave it in my pocket yes. than if I buy this ticket. Yes. But what am I ignoring? And don't think math in this case. Don't think mathematics. Why do you play a lottery? Do you play a lottery so you can retire tomorrow? Mm -hmm. no. Probably not, because you just saw the odds of retiring tomorrow are about one in the population of the United States. Yeah. Right? That's essentially what that says, right? 302 million, that's about how many people there are in the country. So why should you be the one that wins? Why do you play, Simon? Why do you play, really? Because it's 
fun. That's why you play. The same reason you go to movies. Why go to a movie when you can wait and watch it at your house once it comes out? Because sometimes it's fun to go see a movie in a theater. When you walk out of a movie theater, do you demand your money back going, ah, that wasn't worth my time? No, because you, you came to the agreement with the movie theater that I'm going to pay you, what is it, 14 bucks, 15 bucks to go to a movie these days? I don't even know. Yeah. 15 bucks to go to a movie. You're going to pay 15 bucks. I remember when Life of Pi came out, that movie Life of Pi, one of my favorite books of all time. And I went to that movie five times. I spent like 100 bucks watching that movie because I was in 3D, 50 foot. I would go back again if they put it back in theaters in a heartbeat. But you're winning every time anyway. Because the enjoyment you get out of the $15 loss greatly exceeds the $15 loss. You can't measure it mathematically, but you can measure it subjectively. And to me, it was worth going to see that movie five times in the theater. That damn tiger. I still can't believe it was CGI. Like, that's a real cat. Get out of the boat. No. So that's the, what you can't measure mathematically with Powerball. You can't measure the joy of playing the game. That's why Vegas exists. Vegas doesn't exist to make millionaires. Every once in a while it does, inadvertently. <laughs> but even when it makes millionaires, it still rakes in money from everybody else, enough to cover the millionaires and then some. And you get free booze. And that's why they keep you playing. They give you free booze because they would gotten a, a discount on the booze to keep you playing to make you give them more money. It's exactly, it's a wonderful business scheme. That's why I'm always amazed that any casino closes down because of bankruptcy. I'm like, what the hell, do you not do math? <laughs> like literally, this is, this is the entire, yeah. friends, if you wanted to make a casino, this is the math. You just did, this is the math of casinos, right here. Literally, this is how every game of chance in a casino is arranged, right here. <laughs> one arm bandits, craps, roulette, chuck -a luck any game of chance, so, that's the math. Four. Say that again. 21 is, I don't use games like 21 in poker in the analyses. Do you know why? They're not pure games of chance. There's also skill involved, isn't there? There's optimum strategies, but there's still skill involved in those games. So those are controlled. The payouts are controlled by relative likelihood. But if you ever look at poker games, it's a very good question, actually. And you never see me teach poker in this class because of that. If you ever look at the probabilities in a poker game, they never talk about the probabilities within a game. It's always, what's the chance of being dealt a full house? Mm -hmm. Not getting a full house within a round. Because that's impossible to calculate. You have to know what cards are out. That's where card counting comes in. That's where card counting comes in. We work on that a little bit in Math 105. I've given you a, I give you a little tiny brief introduction to card counting in 105. Very brief because, uh, well... I don't know. I, I can't do it very well myself. I can do it to, to some extent. Please, Alexis, let me go. I've taken you over 20 minutes past break. This is inexcusable. Go ahead. Sorry. No, uh, you don't be sorry. I'm sorry. What? What do you, for number four? What yes, what is number four? Um, it says, what did your classmates uh, shortcut? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me we have to do number four. What, so when I said your classmates, why was it? Now, I've already erased the math we did earlier. Yeah. When we did game number one in the lab, which essentially was the same as the, exactly, right there. Why could we just divide by six in the warm-up, but we can't divide by ten here? What was the big difference? Macy? Because the dice The odds for the payouts in Mega Millions are all different, not equal. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can only do the division by how many payouts there are if all the payouts happen at the same rate. With a die, they all happen at the same rate. Hey, on a roulette wheel. Have anybody ever played roulette in a casino? Yeah, you ever bet on a single number playing roulette or do you bet on color, like red or black? Yeah. If you go to a roulette, uh, go to the roulette wheel in a casino and go, I'm gonna bet on a number, a number. That's even odds because every number has the same size slot on a roulette wheel. I think there's 38 total numbers on a roulette wheel, I think. There's 18 red, 18 black, and two green. Zero and double zero. So you can walk in and go, I'm going to bet on eight red. Boop, and then you spin. You would divide that by 38, the chance, because there's a one in 38 shot of any number hitting. But if you bet on red or black, it's not that anymore, because there's 18 red, 18 black, and two green. That means they're not equally likelihood. You see, that's the difference. The, the reason why the divided by six trick worked is because all six outcomes happen at the same rate. <clears throat> but not here. Clearly, the smaller prizes happen more frequently than the larger prizes. And the biggest prize of all is the loss. 96% of the time, you'll lose.
Great question, Alexis. Thank you for reminding me we had to do number four. Yes, Jenna? For number four, I put beach has the best chances of winning. Tell me about the chances of winning. What are they in the dice game and what are they not here? One word. What are the chances of winning in the dice game and what are they not here? I'm looking for one word. That's, a, that, that, that's an acceptable word. I was just gonna say different. They're not different with the dice game. They're all one and six. There's no one in 10. Remember when we divided by 10? The assumption would be that everything happens 10% of the time that way. Do you see 10% anywhere in any of these fractions? Nope, 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 nope. And hell no, 96% is so high. That's why dividing by 10 won't work. Or dividing by nine in that case. Or dividing by any single number. <sighs> I know, it's okay, you can stretch. I wasn't, that wasn't a reaction, you're stretching. Oh my God, we need to stretch. It's now, oh my God, it's 925. We need to walk out of this room and get some air. Go out into the subarctic tundra that is Bend, Oregon right now. Get some air, get some water. Let's make piles up here. I hope that helped, Beth.